Getting the diagnosis right the first time is critical. It offers immediate therapy, it offers closure. When we look at the MRI, we see a characteristic pattern of signal that helps us understand that this is a cavernous malformation as opposed to other lesions. Cavernous malformation is an um, abnormal tangle of dilated blood vessels. The classic analogy is that of a mulberry, and that's the gross appearance of a cavernous malformation. A lot of patients have encountered physicians that have never heard of a cavernous malformation or maybe have seen two in their lifetime. So I think the thing that we offer here at Mayo Clinic is the individual um, evaluation of the patient and their symptoms. Most vascular diseases are very unique to the patient. There are a number of technologies here at Mayo that we use in the Department of Radiology uh, that are not widespread. One of those is a seven Tesla MRI, which allows us to see with greater resolution within the brain. Treatment entails a, a number of steps. Number one, are we sure that the spot, the cavernous malformation, is the cause of the symptoms that the patient's having? And if so, do we take that cavernous malformation out or leave it in? Secondly, we address the symptoms. We have a number of neurosurgeons that specialize in cavernous malformations as well as very delicate brain surgeries. The care here allows true collaboration. It allows me to, on a daily basis, even, I would say, continuously consult with my colleagues in other departments. It's important to try as much as possible to treat a patient as one of our family members. And uh, I think that if we're able to do that, you are already a very good doctor because you always worry and you don't take anything for granted.